Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Link down below. Oh, oh, oh. What's good, everybody? It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So, I was in Walmart the other day doing some clothes shopping, and that's actually where I got this hat from. Y'all like it? I was like, oh shit. Two dollars? I need that. So, I was in Walmart doing some clothes shopping, and I was like, shit. I haven't done a video about Clarence in a long ass time. What I did, people dragged me to the field. People called me every fucking name in the book other than a child of God. And I was like, oh shit. I didn't understand that Clarence has so much of an effect on people. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's his talent or if it's his sense of humor or if, it, or if it's his potential or the fact that he's always on the queen's ass. I don't know what it was about Clarence. But people was not feeling that video I made and that shit got a fuck ton of hate. So, I decided to talk about the fact that Clarence isn't getting as much love as he used to. Now, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but a lot of the comments about Clarence haven't been that positive within the past 90 days. In case y'all didn't know, Clarence isn't that glorified like he used to be. Like, don't get me wrong, Clarence is still well liked and well loved and still the fucking household name. But I noticed that a lot of people are getting tired of Clarence. And there's a lot of reasons why people are starting to not like Clarence. People are getting tired of him. People are starting to realize his true colors. I'm about to eat these hot sausages. I fucking, I fucking love these shits, by the way. I used to eat these shits all the time when I was younger. I used to live in the hood and shit. I used, I used to actually like take these and then mash them up with salt and vinegar chips. And then just eat them out the bag just like this. But yeah. I noticed that there's a whole... I'm tired of Clarence, fuck Clarence, damn this nigga always around Queen type of hate train that's going around. And it's not just a hate train, it's more so uh, people are fed up and getting annoyed with seeing him. Honestly, it's one of those things where people love Queen, so they tolerate Clarence. And I came up with a lot of reasons why people are tired of Clout Bear. The first reason why people are getting tired of Clout Bear is the fact that, overall, he's boring as fuck. I mean, I don't understand, nor will I ever understand, why there will ever be laughing emojis under his shit. And I don't want none of y'all motherfuckers commenting chili pepper emojis under this bitch, because this is my fucking opinion. And a lot of other people's opinion. Clarence isn't that credible anymore, because people are starting to realize how fucking boring he is. I mean, most of the videos that are actually interesting, or able to hold down, are involving Queen. Clarence just has no personality. He has no foundation. He has no energy. He's just a hood nigga that's just meant to be looked at. Like, maybe his place is on Instagram or his place is on Twitter where he's not meant to be heard. You know, some people are meant to be looked at, not heard. And Clarence isn't entertaining at all. I don't understand nor will I ever understand what's so interesting about him. And I used to subscribe to him. The only reason I used to subscribe to him is because he was a fresh face. And I was like, you know what? Fresh face, new face. He seems chill. Let me subscribe. And then I unsubscribed that within 48 hours because then I realized oh my god, this nigga's boring as fuck. What is this? So honestly, Clarence is not entertaining at all. People don't find his videos entertaining. Most of the videos that get most of the views and most of the attention are the videos involving Queen. And people love Queen. And 75% of his supporters are from Queen. I mean, I don't really understand how people can sit up here and say Clarence is entertaining. Like, honestly, I rather watch fucking Paint and Dry. Like, whenever I be watching Clarence's shit, I try to understand the hype. But whenever I be watching his shit, I just be like... <sighs> What is this? This is boring. His vlogs are boring. 75% of his views come from Royalty Squad. Queen is somewhat entertaining and she's somewhat bearable to watch, which is why people like her. And Queen is very likable, so I can understand why people watch her shit. And 75% of his supporters are Royalty Squad. And just to let y'all know, once Queen leaves the picture, so are Royalty Squad. I mean, just ask Chris. I mean, if you ask me, 
Queen would have been better off dating Patty's ass. At least Patty's funny and entertaining and has personality and has some type of character. Clown should be sitting there saying spicy all the fucking time. And I'm tired of that fucking word. Another reason why people are getting tired of Clarence's ass is just the fact that Clarence follows Queen everywhere. I mean, it comes off as the fact that I mean, I, I mean, I understand them being friends. And in case y'all didn't know, the manager of Spicy Management, aka the new fat back computer shaped ass bitch, she reached out and she went on Twitter and she said, "Remember, y'all, we're Spicy Management. We gonna always be together." And I was like, "Okay, that's understandable." But what about Young Money? Young Money, Cash Money, then they not always together. What the fuck is your excuse? I mean, damn, like, isn't Clarence a booked model? Isn't Clarence a fucking highly paid, highly booked motherfucking model, Instagram model, YouTuber personality? Like, damn, bitch, let Queen breathe. Like, is there some, is there, is there some type of magnet in her damn vagina or something? I know on the pull up, you. you know what I'm saying? On the pull up, Queen look tired. It's a huge bug Yo, look at this bug right there, right and Claire don't want to kill it. Okay, what's, so the what's the problem? Let's talk. So this nigga follows her everywhere she fucking go. I'm like, shit, nigga, let her breathe. Because people like De'Aaron and Ken, or people like Damo and Chrissy, or people like the Migos, they're a brand together. So we understand why they're always together. But Clarence, on the other hand, Eva, I understand that y'all live in the same city and Queen is out here living her best homeless life and shit. But damn, why do you pop up and popping up everywhere Queen goes? That shit gets on everybody's fucking nerves, and it's it's really starting to get on a lot of fans nerves because you lady cannot watch Queen's videos once without Clarence popping up and then that just that shit just blows everybody away it's like shit bitch like damn like does this nigga ever stay his ass home and to me honestly it comes up as Queen doesn't even have a backbone it seems like she always needs a nigga next to her constantly in order to be stable or to move or to dress or it just seems like Queen has no backbone and she just always seems to have somebody up under her. Queen, because Queen's a new solo artist. She's a brand new solo artist. She blew up. She's a signed artist. She's doing well for herself. And people love Queen for her personality, her music, her demeanor. Just who Queen is overall. Queen's a very marketable person. And people want to get to know Queen as a solo artist, not just relationship goals. I don't know, to me it just seems like if Clarence is such a highly paid model and he's an entrepreneur and has his own clothing line and is always doing shit and always traveling, why is he all up in Queen's ass, all over Queen's shows, all over doing everything? Like sometimes it just comes off as a reach. And then the fact that they tried to ride this whole, oh maybe we're talking, maybe we're not, maybe we're dating, maybe we're not, and then constantly using get as clickbait and leverage to get more views, that kind of irritates people to a certain extent because most of it is usually on Clarence's channel and that just has people like, okay bitch, damn, we fucking get it, shit, y'all talking, y'all fucking on the low, y'all fuck buddies, damn, just... We, we know, but at the end of the day, they're riding this fucking wave because it's a fucking gimmick and at this point, it's getting on people's nerves and they just need to hurry up and say that they fucking, if they're not gonna fucking admit it, then it is what it is. Another reason why I can admit why Clarence isn't getting as much love as he used to is the whole colorism thing. The colorism thing is a big part of why Clarence gets not as much love as he used to and the fact that he handled it so fucking horribly i mean when queen got called out for colorism so not to be funny but it seemed like always little black nappy headed i'm sorry y'all but it seemed like always little nappy headed girls would bully me like they'd be jealous or something like what, I, what? yes they was when i was little i didn't do nothing to know it seemed like always ugly people bully me I'm sorry. She handled it poorly at first, but then people for some reason gave her a fucking pass because y'all know Queen is baby Beyonce. Queen is the mother Mary of YouTube. Anything Queen does, people find some way to enable it. If Queen kills somebody, oh, okay, but maybe that person started with her first. It doesn't matter what Queen does, people will constantly enable her. And that's a whole other video, and I'm not even going to fucking get into that. But all I'm going to say is this. When the colorism thing happened... People gave Queen a pass, and then Queen even later apologized and said that she should have been apologized. Because she handled it poorly at first by saying, she's not a colorist, y'all doing too much, da da da. But then she said, you know what, y'all, I'm sorry. Like, I really feel like I should have been apologized, this, this, and that. And people dropped it, people squashed it, and people left it at that. Clarence, on the other hand, has not apologized and never will apologize, and he handled things horribly. And guess what? 
Colorism comments affect the black community the most. And guess what? Most of their fans, most of the Royal T Squad, and most of the people, most of the people watching this, most of the people that watch Clarence and Queen are black or mixed. Most of y'all are black, mixed, or whatever the fuck, or of color, so that offended a lot of people. And most of y'all watching this have been affected by colorism, so that pissed many people are. A little Twitter rant talking about some, I'm half black, I'm half black. Uh, first of all, I have a brother and a sister who's both African American, so I'm part African American. That wasn't colorism, y'all reaching. Like, that alone just pissed people the fuck off because he handled it so horribly, didn't address it, didn't even say I was young and I understand that what I said was not excusable and I apologize. That could, he could have been, he could have left it at that. Or he could have just said, honestly, y'all, I was an idiot and I made a horrible decision. You didn't have to hit him with the apology. You could have hit him with the sideways apology and you 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 would have been you would have been applauded and people would have gave you credit and people would have let that shit go. But the whole colorism thing, that alone just pissed people off. So that's a big part of why Clarence doesn't get as much love as he used to. Once the colorism shit popped off, that's when everybody was like, okay, fuck Clarence, that's the beginning of the end. The next thing Clarence does, Clarence is cancelled. Honestly, all Queen has to do is cancel Clarence or not feature Clarence in the vlog anymore and people will give him as much hate as they're giving Chris. Him and Chris might as well fucking be best friends at this point because that was the beginning of the end and yes, people still love Clarence and yes, people still shower Clarence with love, but people will look at him the same. People are getting tired of him. So honestly, before you know it, Clarence will be left in the beginning of 2018 if he keeps this shit up. Another reason why Clarence is starting to get hated and probably doesn't get as much love as he used to it's because of the, yep, you guessed it, I hate this fucking word, and I can't believe I gotta say it, but clout chasing. Anytime, anytime somebody brings up the words clout chasing, opportunist, oh, he's using queen, all of his fans all of a sudden become public defenders. All of a sudden it's a, well, you, you, hey, you gotta admit, Clarence didn't have followers before queen. Oh, but Clarence had his own shit before queen. Bitch, if I hang out with Beyonce for more opportunities, what the fuck does that make me? I already have followers, but if I hang around Beyonce, I'm gonna get more followers and more money and more fame. So what does that make me? A fucking clout chaser. Own it, Clarence. Wear it. And the only reason people give Clarence so much shit for it is because he constantly milks the fuck out of the queen. The queen situation. The whole, oh, our mean queen dating. It was cute at first. But at this point, it seems like Clarence isn't built for YouTube because he's milking it to the point where people are getting fucking annoyed. And he's getting millions of views. There's been numerous clickbait videos, numerous clickbait vlogs, and numerous clickbait Q&As where it's just like, okay, well, that's a reach. And then the pranks alone have just fucking blowing people away. We understand that you're gonna be irrelevant in like seven months from now, but shit, bitch, like, this whole clickbait shit is getting on people's nerves. It's over the top, it's too much, and I can understand why he's doing it. Obviously, it's for money, obviously, it's for views. Clickbait is a marketing strategy, and that shit fucking works, because most of y'all niggas still watch that shit. He ain't getting a fucking coin out of me, because I'm not watching him 35 fucking ads if be having in 10 minute videos at all. So, He's not getting a coin out of me. Now, at the end of the day, some of y'all can say, well, Queen doesn't mind helping him. At the end of the day, Queen is okay with helping Clarence. Why can't Queen help Clarence? What's wrong with collaborating? They're YouTubers. Clarence is a social media influencer. Why can't he get help from Queen? Why can't Queen be using him to it too? Why can't Queen be willing to help him? At the end of the day, I see it like this. I feel like Queen is willing to help him. I feel like if Queen is okay with helping him, then it is what it is, and I'm believing it at that. If Queen wants to help him, then it is what it is. There's nothing wrong with people networking. Some of y'all be turning into his guardian angels all of a sudden when people bring up that whole clout chasing thing. It is what it is. Clarence is clout chasing and that's, and that's fine. That's fine. But you better own it, bitch. All you gotta do is be a real nigga. We gave you an opportunity to be a real nigga and he couldn't fucking do it and Queen enabled the fuck out of him. And if Queen wants to fucking constantly enable him and give him what he wants, then it is what it is. Let him have that at the end of the day. Let him have it. But all, all I'm going to say is this. Keep in mind that once Queen leaves, so a royalty squad. The clickbait titles and the clickbait thumbnails were cute at first, but it got to a point where people felt like he was dragging it. So at this point, Clarence's credibility is slowly going down. Like, boop, 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 it's slowly going down. And it's going to be to a point where he's going to be in Chris's situation. But that was that for this video. That was my whole synopsis on why I feel like Clarence is starting to be hated and why people are starting not to fuck with him as much because it's to a point where people are getting tired of him because I even add people on my Instagram do y'all are y'all getting tired of Clarence 
And 70% of the people said yes, and 30% said no. So that tells you a lot. Honestly, it is what it is. Please be sure to give your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Tell me what y'all thought about this video. Tell me if y'all want me to do another video on somebody else. And tell me if y'all think I should do another one on Queen. And yeah. Choice out this bitch. Ain't got the light on me.